Well, with the ominous creaking and squeaking, we have Andrew Sharp, director of the upcoming, well today's, oh, first of all, today's Friday, it's St. Patrick's Day, so it's a couple weeks yet to go. And, um, yes, two weeks until the show. We open two weeks from tonight on March 31st at seven o'clock. Tickets are only $5 for everybody. Here, Dwayne Rose has, uh, and uh, Terry Adams have been working on the wardrobe. It's the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe. So we have to have a wardrobe, and this is uh, the wardrobe undecorated at this point, but uh, still very much here and very functional. We're going to be reusing the castle from St. Joan. There's a white witch in the story, and the white witch uh, has frozen people and turned them into statues. And we go to the courtyard of her castle to see the statues. Um, and uh, so we're going to reuse this statue, uh, this, uh, this castle, and we're going to hang it from the flies so we can pull it up into the rafters and then when we want it we can bring it down and uh, in the courtyard we're going to have these columns that I love so much uh, I've used these at a lot of shows going all the way back I think to uh, West Side Story in 2007 uh, these are painted by Greg Schmidt to look like marble quite a wonderful job uh, this was built by Greg Schmidt um, again a wonderful job and we're going to use it again. There you can see the back side of the stone table, which people familiar with the story will know uh, is part of the story. And uh, it's the place where Aslan is executed by the White Witch, but he comes back not to ruin the story. We don't want to scare people, so the... Right, right, right. <laughs> I don't want to give the whole thing away, although I think I have in interviews. Uh, there's the lamppost. The lion's, uh, the lion, the witch in the wardrobe uh, has a lamppost in it, which you finally understand what an, uh, London, an English London lamppost is doing in Narnia, if you read the books all the way through. Um, so uh, there's other things we're working on the there's going to be a rolling platform i don't know how well you can see this in the dark pretty well this is the platform it's only like 30 inches two and a half feet and the beavers house is on one side and they have this nice fireplace that was donated to us uh, by a gentleman who's in schmidt woodland hills and whose name I don't remember off the top of my head, I apologize. On the other side is going to be Mr. Tumnus's house. And here we have built the wall that is going to be the beavers on one side and Mr. Tumnus's on the other. Is that the house that's described as, what, clean, something with two chairs? Uh... That's Mr. Tumnus's, yes. Yeah. He only has two chairs, one for me and one for a friend. Oh, that's nice. Which I assume that uh, C.S. Lewis has read uh, Walden by Thoreau, and Thoreau only had a chair for him and a chair for one person. At one point, he got a third chair, and he decided that that was a mistake because you were inviting too much uh -huh. society in, and he <laughs> was trying to stay yep. apart from things like that. Uh, we're going to be making pine trees, and that's one of our first prototype pine trees. We've got to get in more cardboard to do that. And then, uh, you know, I don't know. We could uh, try and uh, make our way through this and take a look at the makeup room. <gasps> yes. Because I've got things uh, set out there. Well, I've been following you on Facebook, of course, several times a day with the masks and the prosthetics. And on, on WRCO's morning show, you said this was, the play was kind of like a type of Wizard of Oz, kind of scary for children, but kind of a magical. Right. Um, yeah. Okay. One of the, uh, one of the boys, uh, his name is Roman, 
decided he wanted to be a bull, so I've, I've ordered bull's horns for him. Those are kind of cool. Uh, we're going to do you could wear those it. anywhere. Right. <laughs> for any uh, occasion. And be a hit. Yeah. But here I'm trying to sort the makeup out. Um, it's going to be quite a makeup undertaking. And you can see there's prosthetic um, noses here, mouse nose, lion face for Aslan. Uh, these are just extra things that I have that we might use. I'm not sure whether we can use these kind of cheap things or not. It's a question of whether I can get them to stay on to the children's faces, mainly the, the little girls. Um, and uh, we will see. Um, but I'm just, I'm just trying to sort things out. And then we're going to make makeup stations where people can sit and do their makeup. Uh, you know, we're getting other things in for the werewolves and the ghouls. Uh, this is too small for my hands, but I'm hoping that it'll fit some of the kids. We're going to need plenty of makeup brushes. Um, so, and there's stuff I haven't even opened yet because I haven't had. <laughs> really? Okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. So we're really hitting it hard. Um, people were here this morning, including Brandon Merkel, the technical director, mm -hmm. trying to sort things out. We're having trouble with the curtains that we didn't expect to have. There's always unforeseen things in any undertaking. Um, but things are going very well, and uh, we're all looking forward to the show. Um, Two so weeks from today. Two weeks from today. Yep. Only $5. Did I mention it's only $5? You did, and yeah. that's a great price. Yeah, yeah, I think so, too. So. Um, All right. Well, we'll check back again. In fact, I'll be here tomorrow to do some video, and we'll see what's going on. That'll be great. We'll and, be here as well. And you can take those off before then, though. Okay. Thank All right. you. Will do. <laughs> Thanks, Beth.